What's good? It's your boy So Royal Play back with another video. Okay, today I just hit dual level max with Dragoon of these. This deck is so much fun. I was clapping. Um, actually, even this last 10, I went on. Um, I don't even, I'm 10 in, I'm 8 in 10, 8 out of 10, which is cool. I just kept losing, like, my rank up. Like, I'm glad they let me um, get it off this one, though. Because I've been, um, like, getting four wins, then fucking losing my rank up. I did that a couple times, but they finally gave it to me. So I'm good now. But this deck is so much fun. We can, uh... It's a lot you can do with it. It's a lot of finesse plays. You can play through a lot of stuff depending on your hand. That's why. Let's go through the deck list. We got one Dragoonity Armor Leviathan, one Black Wing Zephyros the Elite, one Dragoonity Coos, one Dragoonity Armor Ground, two. Dragoonity Legatus, two Dragoonity Senatus, one Dragoonity Ducks, two Dragoonity Phalanx, one Dragoonity Mistletang, um, two Forbidden Lands, three Dragon's Ravines, three Dragoonity Divine Lands, with the extra deck of two Escalons. One Cyber Slash Harpy Lady. One Lewin. One Gay Dirge. Two Barchas. And one Heretic Dragon King of Tums. Now, this deck is really. It's a combo deck, so it'll take you. It takes some time to learn the plays, but. It's really, it's good to me. Even though I could say, like, going second, it's probably better going second if they don't, if they can't stop you. Because the, because my only issue is, like, the inboard is probably going first. It's not that strong. It's just a lot of bouncing they could do. But if they, like, uh, like, got something to return the card to the hand or back to the extra deck, that's the only thing that will slow you down. And you do go because all the combos are like three card combos, so it's like you basically going all in on your turn. So, but you can have follow up plays depending on the hand that you get, but it's still good. And like the board you can make is pretty crazy, or it's pretty good. I ain't gonna say crazy, um, because most times I am ending on. The uh, Escalon, Tums, and um, Armor Dragon, Leviathan, equipped it with a Gay Dirge. So, um, how I get there, it's going to be really long and convoluted so I'll just when I show the replays I'll explain it as I'm going along because it's like super convoluted uh, yeah so we like every, you need pretty much everything in this deck you use and like your extra deck you use every card in your extra deck like most games except for like slash if you can't make it then you probably ain't gonna summon it but Pretty much most of the times you you need it like the ratios are like perfect uh, Even in the main deck, it's like that's the only reason I'm only playing one ducks because sometimes you rather have Sinatus But you don't really want to Sinatus only good going turn one turn two in turn two onwards Sinatus not that good, but You that's the only reason I'm not playing three like two is like perfect like I can play more ducks because I, I don't mind I never I don't mind playing more ducks but it's just trying to I was trying to cut the deck down to 20 but I was having a hard time doing that so I'm stuck at 21 for right now um, let's see 
because it's really three cards that you want to see like really you either want to see um you want to see lance and like lance and senatus and a discard for senatus and you pretty you pretty much that's for a combo yeah lance senatus and preferably a tuner or Dragon's Ravine, a tuner, and Lance, or Dragon's Ravine. Dragon's Ravine, like Dragon's Ravine, a tuner, and either Lance, Senatus, Ducks, Smithleton, and or even Legatus. That's all full combo. Or like like sometimes if you got a if you got missile tents, you really don't need Lance most of the time because you can play around you can play around not having Lance if you got missile tank. like I do want to I would play another one but I just didn't want to push my luck because like I wouldn't need to play more tuners just to be safe to make sure I got a way to summon them on those turns you grab those one ofs that you really don't want to see um Cause even even the big boys, you can summon these from your hand. The two big boys, you can summon them from the hand, so they're not really bricks. The only bricks if you ain't got nothing in the graveyard, like he brick if you ain't got nothing in the graveyard, then he would be if um you don't like like if you don't have another way to summon another monster. But if you get them as like your fourth card in your hand, you're still pretty straight and make your end board even better. So, but let's jump into some of the combos for I can explain to y'all how this goes. This one is like an older build that I had. I was even playing more cards in this this one. Uh, but it's still basically the same combo. But this one, I was playing Cards of Consonants, but I ended up taking that out. So... You know, cards are constantly still good, but I was playing less. Like, I had cut down on my tuners that I was playing, so I ended up taking it out. But this one, replay just to show off the combo. Let's go. So, we use the cards of constants and the phalanx to grab, to draw two cards. And then we normal summon the Senatus. Senatus will send the phalanx to get the coups from the deck. Special summon the coups. Synchro into Gay Dirge. Gay Dirge effect. Search the Zephyros. Send the Zephyros to the grave. Then we equip Divine Lance. Divine Lance will equip a coups from the grave. I mean, from the um, deck. Special summon that coos. Use Zephyros effect to bounce back the lands to the hand to special summon the Zephyros. Then Synchro into Vadriana. Um, yeah, I was playing Vadriana in this build before I had even even got Lewin. So I switched out Lewin. I switched out Vadriana for Lewin. So it's still basically it's still the exact same thing. They both do have the same purpose because Valdriana will get back a tuner from the graveyard too. Then we special summon the tuner. Then we Xyz into Tums. Tums effect. He lets you special summon a dragon from your deck but it's attack and defense will be zero. So the dragon we are getting is Le Leviton. And when Leviton is special summoned, it lets you uh, equip a dragon from your graveyard. So we will get back uh, one of the tuners, which we grab Phalanx. So now then we'll special summon the Phalanx. So now I equip the Lance to the other tuner, to one of the tuners, and then. 
synchroed off into Escalon with the one that was wasn't equipped to the uh, that wasn't equipped with the lance, and then the tuner that was equipped to lance, I special summoned the lab. I banished that one to special summon the Leviton from the grave, and then when Leviton is special summon, it lets you equipped a um, dragon from the grave. Which is this effect is not once per turn, so that's why I'm able to do it again, and that's why I grabbed the Vadriana. But now in the new, in my up to date version, I will like normally I'm gonna get I'm gonna send the Gay Dirge to the grave and have the Gay Dirge equipped, cause I'm doing this because when the if the Leviton gets destroyed, it special summons the card that was equipped to it front of grave so that's why we that's why I decided to do this since I ain't got no disruption I do have a couple bounces cuz Escalon is also a bounce he special summons a uh, Dragoonity from the extra deck and Leviton when he's destroyed special summons one of the his equipped cards alright so yeah so that's the board we end on Tom's Escalon and Leviton equipped it with the equipped it with the monster. Cause I can also cause like I could either go I can like grab another tuner and just special summon then go into another Escalon, but I wanna be just in case they're able to like destroy both of them, I wanna be able to make sure I have another play for next turn. So he doing his thing. Giant destroyer. Destroys the Escalon. Escalon special summons the Barcha from the extra deck. Then I'm equipped in two tuners. He can equip any dragon. And I just chose the two tuners. Because I can special summon them. Alright. He went to the Junk Warrior. Converting. Start this dragon. We start this rose. Go on the shooting star dragon. Use the effect. That's one, two, three. We get three attacks. So attack the Tums, attack the Leviathan, and attack Fu. So I was like, okay, I got the Ducks. Ducks bring back the core. Kus, Mr. Tang, Special Summons the Chorus. Going to Barcha, Barcha. Get back to two of the tuners to special summon both of them. Go on the Harpy Slash. Go on the Escalon. Escalon Banish. He got gum, so he, he negates that. But Escalon is not once per turn, so I can keep doing it. As long as I got um, cards to banish in the graveyard, I can keep going. That's why Escalon is so good. So that's pretty much it. You like try to survive till your turn. The Escalon banish they feel, then it's half the game. Alright. Here go another hand. So we got Dragon's Revenge. Dragon's Revenge sends the Phalanx to search the Legatus. Normal summon the Ducks. Duck special summons the Phalanx. Synchro into get, uh, Vadriana. Oh yeah. So that's the thing. Any hand that you don't have Divine Lance in your hand, you and you have you will need to get a Legatus. And you will need Legatus in your hand because Legatus is a special summon. And you need a way to get to another tuner. 
So that's why instead of going into Gay Dirge, first you will go into um, Lewin slash Vadriana first. You will go into Lewin first with my updated build, but this one I was using Vadriana, which does the exact same thing because it gets the tuner back from the graveyard. So you'll get the tuner back. So now you can special summon the ta Phalanx. Now you can special, then you special summon the Legatus. Secret them off into Gay Dirge now. And then you search the Zephyros. Zephyros send that to the grave. Exease them off into Tums. Special summon the <coughs> Leviathan. It's getting the Phalanx back to go into the Escalon. And then you can use Zephyros effect to bounce back the Dragon's Ravine to special summon this up. And then activate the Dragon's Ravine again to send the ground. Make special summon ground from the grave. So now you end on Tums, Ground, Escalon, Zephyros. Full board. And you know, Salaman Grace, they can only do so much to clear. They can probably clear, but it'll take a lot for them to clear the whole thing. So they go ahead and do their solid thing. Xyz into that damn monster reborn, and all they do is attack ground and attack the Zephyros. So I start off using Escalon effect to banish his. Uh, Sunlight Wolf, but he end up using Circle to protect it for the turn. I was like, okay, right, because right now I'm trying to bait him out to get the to use the um, his negate, but he ended up using Circle, so I couldn't. So I gotta find another way for him to use it. And he negated because I was able to use it again, so he negated it. So then I used Tums to I used Tums to special summon a missile ten. Since I had a um, a level two in my hand, I was trying to go into another Escalon, so that's why I went for him. So we got the Escalon, banish the Xyz, then banish the Debug, special summon the ground from Grave, we negate his effects, then we attack. And then when a monster is destroyed, Graham can take Instead of sending it to the graveyard, he can equip it to itself. Because Gram Effect, for every card that's equipped it to him, the card that he negates loses a thousand attack. So, that's also good. And for those cards that you don't want your opponent to have in the graveyard, it's good to equip this on for they can't use it. So, but he... He still got some plays though. Going to the Bay Lakes. Gazelle. Going to the Helio.
Summon the Jack. Summon the Falco. Then he just quits. Alright, Pun going first. They are playing McKnights. <laughs> So he just sent uh, the link and two face dials. And we know one of them is the trap. That is special summon and negates any monster effects that is the same column as a McKnight. So going against McKnights, I know automatically try to get the try to get big monsters on the board as fast as possible. So I don't even play around doing my normal combo I try to do. End up getting ground that's perfect. Like he's one of the cards you always want to see. Going against McKnight. Use Sinatus. Equip it to the Lance. Alright. Because Lance has another effect. Any monster equipped it to this card. Trap is unaffected by trap cards comes in super clutch especially against Mac Knights and Salamad Grapes comes in really clutch best way to play around the traps because even the Salamad Great Roar it like if you use the effect they always going to try to negate it with the Roar but it doesn't affect it because it's unaffected well while equipped it to land so his effect still can go off same thing in this situation the Mac Knight uh the World Legacy Secrets will try to negate the um, my uh, Sinatus when he special summon the Eclipse from the grave, but it's unaffected because of the Lance. And he got Crackdown. Crackdown also doesn't work on while I equipped it to it, so I get it right back. So I special summon one from from Lance and use and Sinatus effect special summon to uh, equip it another one and I'm about to special summon both up into the field. <clears throat> then we sink her off into the Barcha in the opposite column. But he got DD Crow to negate. Or not negate but just take away the card I was about to special summon. <clears throat> he uses Eclipse, but I activate Lance on the uh, Escalon, so I still can banish his Eclipse. Then special summon the ground from the grave, and it's half the game. This hand, this hand is good um, because I got Levitant in my hand now. My inboard is going to be a little bit different now because I got full combo because I got the Sinatus, a Tuner, and Lance, and my fourth card just so happened to be Leviathan. Because usually I don't want to search him off the tongue, so but because he's in my hand, I will. It will end a little bit differently now. So we grab the coos, special summon the coos, summon gate there, search the Zephyros, send the Zephyros, activate the lance. Equipped uh, Phalanx, special summon the Phalanx, special summon the Zephyrus, and then the lands back to the hand. Synchro into Lewin. Lewin brings back the Phalanx, Phalanx, special summons. Xyz into Tums. Tums, send the Lewin to. Yeah, yeah. So we sent the Luan. 
to a uh, special summon the ground from the deck since we already have the Levi Leviathan in the graveyard already. So we grabbed him. Uh, then the Phalanx that was equipped it with the equip spell, we banished to special summon the Leviathan, equipped in the Loom into it. This was my first time actually even using Lewin up in the this this is the game where I first put Lewin into the deck and I was trying to see if he would get his attack boost with when he just equipped it regularly but he doesn't so that's why now I usually keep the Lewin equipped it to the Toms and send the gay dirge instead so on the following so if he so if the Toms get destroyed the Lewin can equip itself to another Dragoonity on my field. Or even on my turn, when I use um, Tom's effect again, then I can use Lewin effect to attach it to one of my monsters. So, so yeah. But, going against Salaman greats, you know, they do their thing. Grab the sunlight wolf, grab the rug from the grave, special something the mirror mirror. I'm about to special something the jack. Get the gazelle back to his hand. Go into the helio. And then he attacks the ground. So now we know he got the trap. Uh, so we we had Dragon's Revenge, so we was about to like go off since we had the foul. He was about to sit down and grab the ducks, but he ended up having an MST. So I'm like, all right. So he destroys that. Now I want to bait out. Oh well, yeah. Now I want to bait out the uh, his trap. So I activate the tongues. And he negates it. Which is fine because we got a tuner in our hand. We normal summon the tuner to so we can synchro off into uh Escalon. You know. That's pretty much game from there, cause we got a gram in the graveyard too. So Escalon banish, Escalon banish. Special summon ground from grave. And this game. So you really want to try to get like ground in the grave. Banish everything with Escalon. Special summon ground from grave. And attack the game. That's mainly what we want to do. Alright. We're going against uh what's it called? World Legacy. Let them do their thing. Like it's only the one yeah, we only worried about World Chalice. If he has that on the field, that's the only thing that will scare us. Where world chalice be having be doing a lot of stuff. I never know what they be doing, but they be doing it. But I just know this is the only card that we worried about. 
Cause it destroys a, it can destroy a card that's summoned from the extra deck. So because I know that, we gotta try to bait that out. Cause the only way, only removal we have is Escalon. So, so we gotta figure out a way to bait it out. So Dragons with then send in the. But yeah, so we did it like this. We Dragon Savine send the Zephyros to the graveyard. And we're going to send the Zephyros to the graveyard and special summon the Legatus. We, we're, our, my goal right now is to try to save my normal summon. So we special summon the Legatus. Quit it with the divine lance to get a tuner. We grab the Kus. Kus special summoners. We actually, since we had missile ten in the hand, we no, we special summon the Kus. Then miss ten spe, uh, effect. He can special summon himself by sending a dragoonity card to the graveyard, and then when he special summon, he can equip a dragoonity from the um, graveyard so we got the coos back then able to special summon it again and we go into the gate dirge and see if he negates it or not he decides to destroy it which I am fine with because we got the Zephyros in the grave we can send back the ravine to the hand to special summon then use Ravine again to send that to the grave to grab a Phalanx. And now I can normal summon that Phalanx. And then I can continue with the combo. Go into the Luin. Bring back the Kus. Synchro into Escalon. Escalon Banish. Escalon Banish. GJ. Right. We got another good hand because we got Mr. Ten in the hand. Mr. Ten in Ravine. And uh Yeah, and a tuner in the hand. Oh yeah, this is a good hand. And we're going against Wait, is this the same? No different because we're going first. Okay. So yeah. We use Ravine, send the Phalanx, search the Ducks. Ducks will get back the Phalanx. Special summon the Phalanx. Special summon the Mr. 10. Mr. 10 special summon. By sending the, uh, special summon the Mr. 10, sending the Phalanx to the grave. Mr. 10 spe uh, equips the Phalanx. The special Phalanx special summon itself. To go into the Gay Dirge. Gay Dirge, search the Zephyros. Send the Zephyrus to the grave. Exes off into a tongue to send to set special summon the Levitan. Levitan. Okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So we use Levitan. Where is it at? So off the tongue, we special summon the Levitan. Levitan equipped it, the missile tank to itself, and then equipped it the missile tank. Then Zephyros uses effect to send the missile tank back to my hand to special summon Zephyros. Then missile tank in my hand, I special summon the missile tank by sending the Levac the Leviathan to the graveyard. And then Mr. Tank is not once per turn either, so you can get equipped it with the, another card. So we're about to equip it with the Phalanx, then special summon the Phalanx, then synchro off into the Luin. Then get back the Phalanx. But, uh. Then get back the Phalanx. We banish the Luin to special summon the leviathan 
and Leviathan is not once per turn, so you can equip it with an another dragon from your graveyard. So we grab the Phalanx again, so we can continue going into Harpy Lady Slash, and we set the lands, which is pretty nice. And I swear, this was probably the most irritating deck on the ladder. This mix of Salamat Grace and Mech, Mech Knights. I hated this deck. Like, whoever thought of this should not have thought about this combination of cards. <clears throat> so they're doing the Salamat Grace stuff. Oh yeah, but I got slashed, so we bounced that back to the hand. Then he switched over to go into the Magnite stuff. This, yeah, we go into the Morning Star. Grab the secrets. Alright, we drew the lance, so we equipped that to the Leviathan, so now he's not worried about no traps. Use that for we can get a tuner. Slash can bounce the Morningstar, since he activated that. Kus can use the Harpy, and he used the Harpy to sink her off into the Escalon. And then we could have just attacked for game. Alright, this is the last replay I got. Uh, I'm going to get Salas again. Another interesting hand. We had two Ravines. Send the one Ravine to grab the Sinatus. Sinatus. Go into Gay Dares. Gay Dares. Search the Zephyrus and the Zephyrus. Equip the Lance. Get the Phalanx, special summon the Phalanx, special summon the Zephyros, Zephyros, and Phalanx, Synchro, Luin, Luin brings back the, but but he had DD Crow, which is fine, so we're going to the Tums, Tums, grab the Leviathan. Leviathan, Leviathan gets the Kus, Kus special summon itself, Synchro into Escalon. And since we had ground in our hand, we can special summon ground too. So now they do their Salaman great things. Going to the sunlight roof to get back the trap. So he off jump used compose to push back the uh, Escalon, which is smart on his end, smart on his turn. But I'm trying to now just trying to bait out the. Uh, his trap for I can normal summon ducks to get Escalon right back. So first attempt use ground to negate the sunlight wolf. He did not fall for it. So then I tried to use Tums to um, 
but he and he still didn't fall for it. And because he didn't fall for it, this time I went for um, a tuner because I had ducks in my hand. So I can like link climbing to Escalon without even um, using any monster effects since I got the lance and the ducks in my hand. So, so yeah, we negated we negated that, so he doesn't get his search. So when I would when I use Tums to send the Lu into the grave to special summon the Kus from the deck, the Lu effect triggered. I can equip it to a monster and he gains a thousand attack. So that's why Luin is that's how Luin got right there. And so I normal summon the ducks. Then synchroed into Barcha. Do not use this effect. Equipped it to equip the lance to the ground to get the phalanx, especially some of the phalanx, to go into Escalon. Then banish his card. He negates it, which is okay because he special some Barcha. Barcha can get back a tuner, special some minutes to go back into Escalon and then banish from there banish banish and that's game like I said the deck is pretty nice I might try to call up with this cause I'm having a lot of fun playing this right now um, like I said, it's a lot of three card combos, and like most hands, it's just like a variation of the same inboard, but it's different ways to get there because of which cards that you have. So, like, if you don't have Lance, um, most times, if you don't have Lance, you need a way to have a tuner and and one of your big boys so that's why mistletane is good for those hands you don't have lance or if you have a uh, legatus in your hand you don't got to worry about lance just know when you go into legatus if you got legatus if you don't have lance and you, but you got legatus just go into lewin first because lewin will get you the because um, you'll normal summon the senatus or the ducks go into Luin first. Luin will get you back a tuner. So then you can special summon the legacies from your hand in order to uh, in order to sink her off into the gay dares, then gay dares to get you the you know, the Zephros. And you just continue from there. It's just like you got to do stuff in different ways based on the hands that you get, but you still ending up in the same spot, which is, that's why I like it. It's so good. Cause like the times where you don't use Zephros to, um, like if you got, if you got Dragon's Revenge and the hands that you don't have, uh, Lance, that's, you can use the Zephros to bounce back the Dragon's Ravine instead. And then you can use Dragon's Ravine again to put the, ground in the grave to make your inboard even better like it's so good it's like really good so so yeah just play around with it, it you'll probably tip after you learn the plays it's gonna be so nuts it's gonna be so nuts and oh yeah another interaction is like with senatus because he senatus got another effect to where if it's about to be destroyed and it's equipped it to a card you can destroy the equip card instead so for like if they got like one of those cars that's like or okay galley like against galaxy eyes so you'll normal summon the senatus equipped it with the lance you or attach the equipped it with the lance use lance effect to get a tuner special summon a tuner then you use senatus effect they're gonna try to negate it but it doesn't matter because they'll negate it. So you bait it out there, negate, 
and Sinatus will not get destroyed because it, Sinatus will just destroy the Equip spell instead, which is good. Playing around with Sinatus comes in clutch, I swear. And like, I love using, I love when they use Crackdown and I got Lance in my hand and I get it right back, then sink her off into it so they just wasted their Crackdown. Like, Lance is super, Lance is super good. Especially with the main traps that's in the game, right? in the game right now, the crackdowns, the uh, the, the warning, the crackdowns and warning points, it's good. It's like the only thing it's not good against is uh, compose, but that's why we got the lands for compose. So yeah, that good. Play around with it. Tell me what y'all think. Do y'all think Drew Gooden is something or nothing?